Hot singles come at a hefty price. If you sign up to enter the inferno, prepare to obey these strict rules. No past mistakes. Although the show may get spicy here and there, the cast themselves must have a very clean past. Kim Jae-won and Kim na yoon the producers of the show, shared that Netflix makes them go through a very vigorous verification process that's very difficult and long because the cast represents their brand. They are to also go through a consultation meeting with a specialist and only those who pass are allowed to participate. And the show being broadcasted from Korea means the participants are held to an even higher standard as the Korean entertainment industry is known for having strict rules imposed on celebrities like K-pop stars to have a squeaky clean image as they are going to be role models and don't want audiences to be badly influenced. That's why when rumors swirled of Choi Si-hun being accused of being a waiter at a host bar was highly controversial. Oh, oh, oh. Host bars are where they cater to wealthy women who pay for companions and they speculated that it's the reason he so enthusiastically chased after Jia. However, he denied those rumors in a statement on Weibo. Authenticity While you can't reveal your age and occupation in Hell's Island, contestants are still expected to be as honest as possible. This means no faking a personality for the cameras as audiences can usually catch when someone is being ingenuine. Producer Kim Jae-won noted that there's no restrictions to not casting those who are just ordinary citizens because they just want people who know their own charm and what they can offer in a romantic setting. They also look past people who had previously appeared on TV or are influencers and just recruited them for their personality. Their methods of casting are usually through Instagram DMs or recommendations from acquaintances. They would even go out onto the streets and hand out casting flyers if they were stuck as they really wanted to find the right people for the show. No electronics It's very hard to spot anyone without a phone these days, but maybe that's why singles have a hard time connecting in modern times. To encourage more social interactions, the cast are not allowed to have their phones, access to TV, or Wi-Fi. This will allow them more time to flirt, talk about their emotions, sunbathe, or work out, which would be more appealing to see on screen anyways. Plus, if they have access to electronics, the cast can just look each other up on social media to find their age and jobs, which will ruin the premise of the show. PG-13 while popular Netflix dating shows like Too Hot to Handle expect a lot of hanky-panky action once the doors are closed, that is certainly not the case with the singles Inferno cast. <laughs> this is because Korean TV stations have strict rules on what can be shown to appeal to the attitudes of Korean society. We only got to see a bit of intimacy when Jin Tech asked So Yun for a kiss on the cheek. When he was giving her a massage on the bed, it was borderline R-rated and even made the host very uncomfortable talking about it. <laughs> they were even more shocked when he asked whether he could sleep with her in the same bed. <laughs> even though it was a very innocent night. So even though they're on a dating show, intimacy in the inferno is expected to be kept to a minimum. Logos Similarly, Korean TV stations are not too fond of large tattoos or brand logos showing. While fans may think tattoos are attractive, especially on Cha Hyun Sung, it's not very common for body art to be given the spotlight. Social media After their time on the show, production made the cast unfollow each other so audiences would be free of spoilers, just for a little while, but the cast looks like they were soon allowed to re-follow each other. They also aren't allowed to announce anything or make endgame couples too obvious even after the finale aired to encourage fans to watch the show instead. As soon as fans speculated that Jin Tech and So Yun posted on what looks to be the same tennis court and in Jeju Island together, their social media posts were deleted. Fans also noticed that Si Hoon liked one of Jiyeon's videos at 54 seconds but immediately disliked it, probably due to the rules. Editing the cast are not allowed to have any say in how they are portrayed on the show. This is very common on reality TV, where producers follow a storyline or don't have enough screen time to show the full picture, and contestants end up making note that not everything you see is a reflection of what happened. 
It's mainly the highlights. For instance, many fans were not understanding of Moon Si Hoon's tireless pursuit of Shin Ji Yoon, as she had turned him down several times, but their co stars, having spent days with them, felt like she low key liked it. In an interview with Mail Business newspaper, Hyun Jung was disappointed with the way things were portrayed, saying that, I knew going in that there would be many scenes that were heavily edited, could create a specific opinion and misunderstanding about me, but I did not expect such severe malicious comments. He noted that he had several health issues and had dislocated his shoulder during filming, so the discomfort he felt in Hell Island formed a lot of facial expressions and statements that were taken out of context. And he had shed tears over it. Poor guy. <laughs> Healthy food. As the cast had to cook for themselves at the resort, they were brewing up what was provided and didn't have many options. As Korean diet is generally very healthy, all the foods they had were mainly healthy, so that's pretty much all they could eat. Filming schedule. While it may look like the cast had gone into this long journey from hell to heaven, in reality, filming only went on for nine days, so it was a really short time to find love. And Ye Won admitted that she only found someone for their looks because she felt like she didn't have a choice, which is why she picked Jun Seek. We're not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment. Background. Casting producers say they are open to just about anyone, but they may have subconsciously gone in with a bias standard, as most of the contestants are attractive, successful, or come from high socioeconomic backgrounds, so this almost seems like a requirement. <laughs> Kang So Yun was a past K pop trainee and even signed with JYP Entertainment, where she debuted in two groups. Hyun Sung was a background dancer to Sunmi, and it was actually her that encouraged him to join the show. Shin Ji Yun had previously participated in a traditional beauty pageant. Choi Si Hoon is a CEO and an actor, and An Ye Won appeared in music game show I Can See Your Voice, so it looks like a lot of them are minor celebrities in their own right. Most notably, breakout star Jia, known for her high end looks, got into a huge controversy for wearing fake luxury branded items. As reputation and class are extremely important to Korean culture, viewers thought she took it too far to conjure up a false narrative of being the it girl with the fake rich persona. Jia issued an apology, but casting directors that seem to want to only feature upper class contestants may be pushing for many others to propel this narrative into their real lives as that is seen as attractive on TV. Location When they said the contestants have an opportunity to go to paradise, what they really mean is an opportunity to vacation in one of the most luxurious hotels in Korea. The place is desired by not only those who are on Hell Island, but by many celebrities too. Some notable past guests are Blackpink member Rosé, Big Bang member Taeyang and his wife had their wedding reception there, K-pop groups Mamamoo, Luna, and Tiara had filmed their music videos there, and CNN had titled the place the world's most glamorous airport hotels in 2019. But if you are looking for a getaway trip to the same spot, just know that it would cost you 20 million won, or about $16,804 US a night. Maybe it really is heaven on earth. Meanwhile, Hell Island is actually called Sasunbongdu Island, and was the background of popular Korean variety shows Two Days and One Night, Running Man, and Infinite Challenge. It's actually fairly easy to access despite it looking totally remote, as all you have to do to get there is take a ferry from Incheon Coastal Passenger Terminal. Not scripted. Even though the plot lines were heavily suspected of being planned by producers, Jia mentions that the show is pretty authentic and that all the reactions were pretty genuine. They add drama by bringing in new people, which contestants would naturally react to, and give them a high incentive to get off Hell Island, but won't force you to say anything. While Singles Inferno may just be another reality dating show, their rules differ quite differently from what is shown on a lot of Western shows as it highlights the uniqueness of Korean culture. Did any of these rules surprise you? Would you ever put yourself into the Inferno? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you want to stay up to date on the latest reality TV news. And we'll see you next time on The Things Reality.